This tutorial covers how to add and manage pages in the new Google Sites. So I've already gone ahead and um, logged in to sites.google.com and I have been playing with different sites and I am currently working on my sample site and under my sample site, I have obviously my options over here on the right hand side. One of my options is pages. Notice that I've already got a page called home. It happens to be the title of the page, but that's not why it's called home over here. Um, but let me go ahead and talk to you about inserting new pages. So I'm going to again be on my pages tab, come to the bottom here and click on add page. And I'm going to um, add the phrase page one and I'm being very, very verbose and I wouldn't normally do that um, in terms of true web development, but I'm going to go ahead for the sake of this tutorial, add three pages. And of course, once I am done or on occasion, I should go ahead and click on publish and that will kind of push it out the latest and greatest changes out to the internet. And that's essentially all there is to creating pages. I'm going to, for the sample of um, teaching here, I'm going to do sub page one and I'm going to do um, sub page 1.2. And I'm going to do sub page 1.3. And I'm going to do sub, excuse me, sub page 2.1. And once again, I would never name my pages this way. I am just doing this explicitly for instructional purposes. The first thing I've noticed here is that I've got a sub page 1, 1 1.2, and a 2.1. I kind of messed up on my naming scheme. So let me go and figure out how to change that. Over here on the right hand side, I'm going to click on sub page one. Note that I could also hyperlink to these directly from my menu. And in this particular case, I meant to call this 1.1. And that's all there is to it. But notice here that the page itself didn't actually change. So let me go ahead and reload. And come back over to pages and note that here I can go ahead and slow click on that and add the name of that page there. So not only do it, I need to change the title of the page here but I needed to change from an organizational structure the name of the page here. Now, the point of these sub pages is to list them such that this link page one becomes kind of a header and that this sub page 1.1 and 1.2 nest underneath the page one. In order to make that happen, I'm going to simply click on the uh, page over here on my right hand side and I'm going to click and drag it on top of the page one. Notice that I dragged it on top of. Let me show that to you again. I'm going to do the one for page two but this time I'm not going to drag on top. I'm just going to drag to a line between the word home and page one and notice that all it does is it rearranges it on my menu as opposed to making it a sub part of a, another page. I want this to be a sub part of the page one. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag it on top of the page one. Note that I can also within these um, sub organizations, click and drag them around so that I can reorder them. Similarly, I want to uh, drag the sub page two to be a part of page two. Now, if I take a look over here, I have a page one link and I have a sub page one and a sub page two, but they're all nice and neatly tucked under each other. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish to uh, create or save my latest changes. And I'm going to stop this video here because that's all I need to deal with in terms of pages.